Hello everybody and welcome to yet more perpetual testing. For today's chamber we are going to be having a go at Aileron. And this was made and recommended by Jet Rocket Box. So a very big thank you to Jet Rocket Box for this one. This chamber features, uh, you know, all the usual kind of sciencey stuff. Some of it will probably come out of tubes. But more importantly, this is the type of entrance hall where you get a free camera. Which means I very much want to try and get you all the way to the exit. But we'll most likely forget about you. More interesting thing you sit there. Uh, we have been immediately presented with a set of stairs. A set of stairs straight from the entrance up to a faith plate. Probably a very, very important faith plate since it's been given its own flight of stairs right here. Uh, we'll get to you in a minute. As I was going to say, yeah, you. I'd very much like to get you to the exit, but we'll most likely forget about you in five or so minutes. So you sit there for now. Uh, we do have these set of stairs, which have a button each side. This button connects to... Is that the speed gel? No, that's too rusty for the speed gel. That's conversion gel, isn't it? That is conversion gel, which goes straight onto that faith plate and gets flung across the room into an observation window. Okay, conversion gel. I haven't played with that in a while. Uh, there's a rather interesting looking panel up on the ceiling there, connected to a button on the ceiling. There is a tube for dropping science over there, possibly in the form of cubes, we're yet to determine. Uh, we've got a little island. That's no, not really an island, is it? It's connected. This is a peninsula, a peninsula of button, which does you on a very short timer. Uh, okay, well, that angles up. It angles up towards our exit, where it looks like we're going to need two pieces of science, possibly both in cube form. But that's really short, right? Okay, so we're probably flinging out of there at some point. Uh, there's another faith plate over there. However, that one isn't nearly as important as it didn't get its own flight of stairs. Big fizzler there. Button up on top of a T-shaped thing with a faith plate target on. Light bridge, there's a button there as well, and another button on that side. A little bit of place to land up there, probably from this faith plate, right? And it's lucky this is a peninsula, otherwise we would have been stuck out there. Oh, what do you do, by the way? You, you stick that out. Oh, wait, you stick that out directly in the flight path of the uh, conversion gel, don't you? So that's probably pretty important to get coated in gel at some point. A couple of panels over there. Is there any panels... There's no panels around this side to use for anything, is there? No, okay, so we'll need conversion gel to make some more portalable panels at some point. Uh, I want to go over there. Does this put me up onto that little podium landing place up there? No, we just miss it and land cat-like on this window ledge. Why do I always end up landing on a window frame? That seems a thing that happens a lot to me in this game and I don't know why. Uh, we can get down to this bit of uh, grid work here. Uh, what else have we got then? Panels behind, more grid work there. Any chance I can press you from here? I'm guessing no, but you never know and it's worth a try. You're about there, right? No, okay, it's not there, not in range. Uh, I want to go over to that faith plate, which I guess will take us over into that room then. And we can see what else we got going on in here. You will launch me this way, very aggressively. Very aggressively, and we hit in there so hard that I swear my vertebrae just popped. Uh, light bridge with turrets. Turrets? I know we only briefly glimpsed at the signage, but I don't recall seeing turrets on it. Um, okay, so there might be a turret surprise in here at some point. A couple of buttons up above. What do they do? They both have their own little thing on there to get to them. So we can put a light bridge here and we can do you. You will deliver a cube. You deliver from that one. You deliver a cube there, which goes rather wastefully straight into the deadly, deadly goo. Continuously. Very wasteful. Okay, so we've got an auto-respawning orange cube there. Another button over this side, which is apparently also a cube. Uh, where's the other tube then? Is it... Hey? Where did you come from? You pop out the wall. Very nice. Okay, there's a sneaky little uh, cube delivery mechanism tucked behind the wall over there. Also notice this cube is not auto-respawning. Probably important, and also I notice it's blue, right? Yes, it's a very delicious shade of blue, which means probably cube management in this one, or pretty cubes for aesthetic pleasantness. Uh, you want me to go in there with the light bridge, which I can't do. There's another button there, too. You will do something important. Fizzler there, connected to you, which goes up into whatever's up in there. Uh, there's a looks like an elevator raising platform in there and you want me to light bridge in there, but I can But we do have conversion gel which means future portal ability possibilities 
Try saying that a few times. I won't. I'll never say that again. It was horrible. Um, what am I doing? We're still looking around the place, right? There is a button there that I'd like to get to. How can I get to you? We could do you and go through the same portal here. Uh, you, what do you do? You open the exit across there? No, you just get rid of this fizzler, but not all of the fizzler. You just get rid of the top chunk of this fizzler, apparently. So does that mean the bottom chunk of the fizzler is very likely that button there? Okay, so we need to get in there. Does that connect to the elevator? Possibly. I'm guessing there's no chance of me pressing it from here. No, it's miles away. Okay, never mind. Um, Alright, so... Where do we start then? We've got the cube that apparently is number one. That's already going. Your cube number two, but you don't auto respawn. So get a cube, right? Um, well, that goes straight in. Don't touch that or we'll drop. Uh, we get a cube from there, but it does go straight into the goo. There is some panels we can probably light bridge and grab it from. Especially since we can get rid of this fizzler. So let's do you. And remember which portal is which. That one. That should grab it, right? Almost. It would be better if I was there, though. So let's go do that and get the next one. Yeah, different coloured cubes probably suggest there's uh, cube management in this one. So let's hop over to here and... Well, I don't really know what to start with other than put you on buttons. That's usually what we do. That gets us a permanent supply of conversion gel, which is going to be useful because more conversion gel means more panels, which means more science possibilities. Usually, that's normally what you do with the stuff anyway. Um, you're just going to keep flinging that over there. You kind of coat that wall. I mean, that gives us another option to get over there. We already had it, though. But you will definitely come out into conversion gel flight path, right? Uh, we can coat that, which means we've now got another panel that we can use for more purposes that I'm not really aware of just yet. Uh, you go away though, right? And you will stay painted. You do in fact stay painted, so yeah, we can go up there now. Since we can go up there, we can probably then use the light bridges to press that button, which means I want to go in there, and to go in there means I have to go over there. And to go over there means I have to go there, so that we can eventually get over there. Let's use uh, the faith plate with the highly carcinogenic gel flying into our face to get across. Maybe we can time it between a blob. Now. Yes, cancer avoided. What? Nah, no, I was just going to say cancer avoided once more, but never mind. Uh, let's go over to that side then. Fling ourselves back over to that side. Again, very aggressive. Look at this. So that cracking sound effect really adds to the uh, damage you perceive. What was I doing? I'm getting a light bridge to probably come out of you, because then we can just go press that button. Um, is there anything else? There's a turret somewhere, right? I'm still not sure where this turret's going to come from. But random panels in walls do open up, so there may be a turret surprise. Uh, let's go back up the top then with you and you again. You and you means that we can press upon you. Then we could do you, right? And then we should now just be able to go press that button and see... Didn't think that one through, did I? Okay, back in here. We need to put it on the middle thing first. That's why it went back. Uh, let's do that. And that. Onto you. Remember that there's grill over there and we don't want to go to the grill. We want to go to you. So then on that one. Chuck me out here. Should catch me safely. So now we could just transfer to transfer to you, right? That means you should now be in leaping range. You turn around a panel over there, which is directly above you. Which means we could totally coat that panel, which means we're probably going to launch ourselves out of there in exit direction at some point. Also, yes, two science cubes required over there. So now what? Um, well, since we've got that, we should probably coat that, right? Again, that time is really short, which is going to make something really awkward when we discover what that awkward thing actually is. Uh, can I go... We'd land on here. We can go through here. Drop down into the middle. Uh, if we bring that thing out into the middle again, we should be able to drop, drop some goo onto here, and then we can start flinging goo in that direction. I mean, if we can get the white goo up there, that surely makes everything a lot easier. Also, we need... That cube, which is that button, which means we've got to get rid of that fizzler, which is that button, not that one, the one behind it up the top there. So we need the light bridge in there, which means we definitely need 
to get conversion gel in there as well then. Uh, let's coat this middle panel first, which means we need you to come out. Put a portal upon you. Put a portal upon you. That should fully coat the middle panel there. Like that. Lovely. Uh, you go back away, but now we've got you, right? So now we've got an angleable portal on a very, very short timer. So how would you fly out of there if nothing else is going to keep this up? I mean, it's clearly for that, right? That is very much exit trajectory. Yeah, okay, uh, I want it in there now. So to get it in there, we need to go over there, which means we need to go over there so we can get over there, which means we need to start by going over here and follow the flight path again. Don't worry, I will be back for you. At least, I'm going to pretend I will. Oh, I'll forget it. I always forget it. I mean, it would be nice to get it to the exit at least once. I haven't done that in absolutely ages now. Let's uh, fly over here then. Do have a lot more, again, on the bloody window frame. Uh, we do have a lot more panel we can use here, though, for reasons. Reasons yet to be determined. Uh, let's fly back this way. Smack into there. And then, yeah, I want to get up there, which means... Conversion gel on you, because you're really clearly telling me to use a light bridge to get into there. Although, can't I just shimmy into there? Although, that's a block height, isn't it? So, no. Uh, Jet Rocket Box has clearly designed that so we can't get in there. Can I get a bit of you up here? No, because you don't actually exist. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, that's way too high to hop. So, you have to get a light bridge in there, which means... Why is there a hole in the ceiling? Is that where you're hiding a turret? No? Okay, that might be an aesthetic hole in the ceiling. Um, light bridge in there, which means conversion gel out of you, right? Splat onto this thing, which means light bridge can go in there. So conversion gel onto the back of you out of there. That's always going into the window, so it has to go into the panel out in the middle. So I kind of need another cube, right? Or we could use that cube that's currently doing the gel to do the holding out thing. And we use our immense girth to stand on the other button. Yeah, so how do I do any of that? Um, let's go back up the top there. Since that's the only way to get a portal out of here is from up the top. So if I did... I need to get over there. Uh, no connection that side. So I need that thing out in the middle already. Although, couldn't we actually do that? Right? That will let us get out there and let us walk straight back over there. And we can check if you can put a portal on a light bridge covered in conversion gel. Somehow I doubt it, but really you should be able to, right? It would make sense since this is a hard surface. You're not going to let me though. I'm sure I've tried this before. No, of course not. Right, um... I was doing something before I got distracted by that fort. Oh yeah, I want this thing in the middle, so conversion gel flies into a portal on it. But I need it to come out of that one. I can't do that one now. Uh, well, let's get the thing, let's get that moving panel to stay in the middle then. i got a feeling there's going to be an awful lot of going between the four sides of the room for this one. It's got that kind of design feel to it. A lot of back and forth and a lot of getting confused at what I was doing in the previous step. So you go sit on here. It's kind of a manky orange on there, isn't it? Um, right, so now that you're in the middle, that means I could have a portal on you. Which means I need to leave a portal on you from in there. And go out there. Because we have to leave a portal there to get gel on the back of the uh, smack your skull into thing. Whilst you're there though, you always put me in the middle, right? And you will fling me out a portal. So in theory... You and, like, you... Up there. But there's no way to do you. I mean, that's nowhere near enough time for me to get back here, put a portal there, fly out of it. No, so none of that. Um, we really need the other cube, don't we, since it's actually here. Once we get it, that is. Uh, conversion gel on the back of that thing. So let's go back in there, which means going over there so we can go there so we can fly into there. Yeah, yeah, okay, we've got to go the long way around. Although, that's in my way now. But we can just go across there, right? So it was convenient to leave a portal there, although technically could have just used those. Thinking about it, why don't I just use those? 
that that saves a few minutes, probably. Um, fly over there then. Smack into there. Portals go off. You and you. Get back up to the... That light bridge goes all the way across to the exit, doesn't it? If it wasn't for that damn pesky bit of ironwork. I mean, that's the puzzle, right? Getting around that at some point. Uh, from here, then, if we do you and you... Let's me get back out there. But then how do I have you come out of here? So I need the gel to come out of there flying into you. Um, so that'd have to be more in the middle. No way we're going to make that jump. So we've got to swap it around at some point. Drop from the ceiling and replace it in time. Aim through here. Or from the floor. From the floor would give me a better chance of hitting it. Uh, let's try that then. In fact, let's quick save here. Because i got a feeling this chamber is more complicated than it looks. Uh, right, so fly out the floor, which means everything can stay where it is. But we're going to fly out, aim in here, and put the blue portal, hopefully, in time on that back panel, which is there. There. Yeah, that, but better. It should be the catchphrase of this video series. Uh, back into here, then. Back up to there, then. And try that again, but with more speed and, you know, skill. Uh, so... No, wait, hold on. Let's put you there. Wait for you to go around so that i got more time. Then we're going to do that again, but better. And it's uh, there. Yeah, okay, that leaves a panel there. And thankfully, because this is a peninsula... We can actually go back over here. Uh, portal, let's put it more in the middle. You can now go do permanent gel, right? Ah, portal goes off, but we can go stand on the other button. You go on there, permanent gel fling. Then if I stand on you, remember which portal is which, we're going to put orange up there. Do that. Right, that's going to chuck some gel in there. And that should now be adequately coating the back of the thing we keep smacking into. So now we can put the light bridge off of you into that back room. Okay, let's uh, go over there then, which means I could just go this way now to get in there. Yeah, we'll just go this way. If we drop into you. It's almost high enough to get you back up there if you had some momentum. Momentum possibly achieved by dropping out of that ceiling panel. Uh, now, light bridge, right? Because this is all portalable. Let's do you and you. Takes me into there. And we can find out if this elevator is automatic. That needs to be way higher than that. We can find out if this elevator is automatic. Oh, we also get to find out if automatic elevator will go through a hard light bridge. It shouldn't, but it does. Because video games. Uh, you. You turn off the rest of that fizzler on a timer? No, okay, apparently that is now permanently open, which will be a lot more convenient than having to mess with a timer. Is that all we need to do up here now? I'm guessing that's all we need to do up here now, because that's all that's up here. This is just a little construction to make it awkward to get to this button for puzzle purposes. Um, so now I've got you open, right? So, well, that's got to be handy. Ah, that means the cube can come in here. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's jump to you. To you. Cube should now fly gracefully over into here. And if it had a skull, it would crack it upon this bit of wall like we did. It also just bounces straight back into the goo. Let's go down there and grab it so it doesn't. Chuck me that cube. Thank you. Yes, a delicious blue cube. Right, now I've got two cubes. It feels like something's been accomplished. And I'm going to press quick save. Um, so, two cubes up there. Right, two cubes up there, and us up there is surely the ultimate goal at this point. Yeah, that seems a bit simple. Is it just going to be chucking it through? Don't think so, but let's find out. Let's do you there, and you there so we can get back. Then, yep, okay, had to do that at least once. Once per video, it's sort of a law at this point. Uh, you can go over here, and we can do both of these. Since we actually have two cubes, two buttons would suggest two cubes upon them. Like we need for the exit. Uh, you, now in the middle. Actually, I don't want the gel, do I? 
And does it matter which cube I get up there now? I mean, they are different colours, but again, it might be aesthetic. Um, take you off of there. If you're permanently out, and I don't actually want a light bridge at this moment. So, is there a way to do this? Because you'll go flying in there, and you'll go up. And then I need to be here to press you to redo that. To fling you up there. So, is that possible? Is there going to be enough time to do that if you're coming out of there? It's a really long walk back to these stairs, unless I could do it from here? Which seems wrong. It works. And you do that. And then whilst you're... Oh, you go back. Oh. We've accidentally discovered some sort of timing mechanism. Okay, that might be handy, actually, because now I need to... When I hear you bedoying, I need to bring this up. Actually, just as you come out of that one, we need to do that. And you should fly... over there. You don't go high enough to go up there. So I need you to go up there with more momentum. Or maybe you're supposed to go to the faith plate. Can we get gel across there? Because that would give us more momentum, right? But that's awkward. Let's just try and see if we can get the cube. I don't know, it needs more speed to get up there. Is there anywhere that would give it more? What if it came out of that one? Yeah, um, I need that cube back though. So let's do you and you. So if I get this to start doing that loop again, which actually needs you to be, well, you're fine there, and you there again. We do this thing. No, not that way, this way. Right, and you start do, well, no, none of that. That was all terrible. Let's drop it on there properly now, since the portals are actually in place already. You do uh, this loop for me. Right, and you'll keep doing that. So that gives us the timing thing again, because you come back here. So now, what if uh, you drop into... Well, no, not drop into. What if you come out of over there when we hear the boing? Puts a light bridge in the way, completely making all of that plan useless. So, no. Um, something to do with flinging here, though, right? I mean, the ale in the title would suggest some sort of aerial acrobatics are involved. Let's put blue on you and just get a new cube if I can make this little jump without embarrassing myself. I can. What a surprise. You. Okay, so there's, there's something here, right? With the cube getting up there with more speed. That's always going to stick a light bridge in the way and block it unless... Unless I do the opposite and we get these things... Get the light... No, not yet. We get the light bridge out of the way first. Alright, you go back doing that loop. That... No! Damn it, Blob, you screwed me up. Let's get you doing this loop again, because that loop gives us, like, timing options. Oh well, we got rid of the blob at least. Um, I need that bloody cube again though. So let's do you there. Uh, you there. Get a new cube again. Give me that one. Thank you. Now I'm thinking get gel over there. If we get gel over there, that gives us, again, more portal panel options. Which can only be a good thing, right? Uh, I want you, and I want you. Stick you on this, get that loop going. With loop, we can... You can do the loop properly. No, why are you just going wrong now? Why are you a bad loop? There, like right perfectly in the middle. You worked perfectly before, and now you're just screwing with me. Yeah, now you're literally just screwing with me. Okay, um, 
not that? Why is this? I mean, okay, that one probably didn't work because I was lazy and didn't go around here. Shit, no, you stay there. You need a blue again. Now, do this neatly like you did last time. No, I swear that's just screwing with me now. Yeah, that is literally just screwing with me now. Uh, I can do this though, right? I mean, that gives me height here. Luckily, chucks me in a direction where there isn't deadly deadly goo. Just quite close to it. I need a bloody cube again. Um, I'm doing the wrong thing now, aren't I? That's why it's not working, is because I'm looking for a wrong solution. Cube, thank you. I'm thinking now we get blobber gel there. Get some conversion gel on there somehow. And if we get the gel up there, or if we got the gel on there, wouldn't it just fly straight there? Is that doable? That's got to be doable, right? Let's try it. Um, I mean, that means I want you to come make permanent gel again. And you sit on uh, that one. Uh, let's do there. And uh, there. Right, so now that's gonna... I kind of wanted a new blob, really. Well, I mean, that one will keep working. So well, then, what if we do this now? Wait for you to do Bedoink. Now? Where does that go? That goes very close to there. But not quite. Is it not right? Does it need to be a little bit higher? Can I have it a little bit higher? That's as high as that will go. No. Um, you? Want to you line up? One of those should line up, right? A little lower? A little higher? Yeah, okay. That does, in fact, go over there and coat that. So, now we can launch stuff into there? And that's always going to chuck a blob there. That's going to get more and more coated. So, possibly useful enough to warrant a quick save. Um, okay, cubes need to get up there. And I need to get up there. So, it's got to be to do with flinging them. So, what could we do now? Well, if a cube went off of you, into you, with a portal there, it could then come out of here, right? Yeah, um, so how do I get a cube to you if I can't get one to go there in a nice way? Uh, it has to be this one for the moment. So I'm going to try that thing I was doing before again, in case we can get it in place. Oh, I need to go up the stairs as well as the cube. You sit there. You do there. You do... Bloody button's in the way. You do there, right? And you do exactly where you are. Then let's get you to do this loop. And I need you to just do it properly this time. You've done it once. Why? Why, Cube? Why do you refuse to go at good angles? Is it because that's not perfectly in the middle? It might be because that's not perfectly in the middle. Uh, but it doesn't matter at the moment. Ooh, that can go further back. Do you. And you again, so they can get another cube. Cube, thank you. Let's put this perfectly in the middle. There. And without a light bridge would make that a lot better as well, which means we go there. I'm seeing a slight problem with this plan. This is only going to work for one cube because there's no way I can be on that button and press the pedestal button. But if we can get one cube up there, that'll feel like I've achieved something. No, that cube is just screwing me, so that can't be right. And we need another new one again. Um, so, portal there again. Orange upon that one again. Get yet another cube. Uh, what if we then instead... Can we... I have access to light bridge technology coming from that direction. We could literally just drop a cube on it by replacing a portal. Uh, okay, so... Who's doing what now? Let's do orange. There. Take you over here. 
yeah, this saves like the step of trying to get it to do the timing loop there. Because I can just drop it on that panel, which means I can get it to fly into there. Okay, so you probably need to be higher than that. Let's uh, trust in the target, shall we? Faith plates tend to give the same power no matter what, so that should still work. Should throw it just as aggressively as it flung us. Let's put you above this button. Is that above the button? It's always kind of hard to judge. Uh, now, that should mean I can just pop you up and put blue on you, which would be a lot easier and therefore make more sense. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, we've got one cube to fly up there beautifully. Again, though, the problem is... No, wait, that should work for both cubes now, right? Because we don't need you anymore. No, we don't need you anymore because we're now using that wall. Okay, let's do that again then. You know, it's a really bloody good thing that that bit of Fizzler stays out the way. Otherwise, this would be a lot more of a pain in the ass. Uh, let's do you there again. Let's put you low enough for us to use. Hi, Cube. You're very excited there. The Cube's very eager to get flung. Let's go take you across. Uh, put you back up there. The target worked beautifully, so we're going to trust in that again. You come over here. Still not sure where the turrets are. Uh, let's put this above you again. Again, uh, of the faith plate like there. Again, really hard to judge. Not good at perspective. So this should work exactly the same, right? And then we just got to work out how to get ourselves up there and hope that there isn't some clever cube management kind of thing that lets us get up there, probably with the panel that we can no longer fly through. Yeah, let, let's hope that's not. Uh, you up. And you up. So now, thing, up. Beautiful. Two cubes successfully flung to a place I now need to be. Okay, so now the puzzle is how the fuck do I get up there? Um, can I do any of that? I mean, I could do... I can get to that faith plate. I can go on this faith plate. I can freely get up to this faith plate. Which would chuck me to that again. But then there's no way to do there. So I can't use that. Um, I can drop onto that faith plate or I can just walk to it. But again, it's this. This has such a short timer that there's no real way to make use of it without being here. So how can I fling myself out of that when it's actually up already? Like, fly by pressing, come off the faith plate, fly by, press, into there, no way to have a portal on you. Uh, the light bridge coming out of you, how high do you go? Not quite high enough. But it does go to the exit. And you did suggest I go about the exit from up there, right? Oh, we did this already. We need to, like, swap around with the light bridges uh, by coming out of you? Yeah, okay, let's try that. Um, if I, like, drop into you and we fly out of you, is that going to get me high enough to reposition onto that back wall panel again to light bridge over there? Uh, let's quick save and attempt it, which means getting over into there. We can do it with you. Uh, yeah, okay, that thing again. I need to do it at least twice, it seems. So let me off. Just no, Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Thank you. I'm back here. Crap. Uh, into this side. That's better. Why is that always so tricky? And where are these fucking turrets? If there's a turret right behind that door, I'm going to be pissed because that really should be my exit. I mean, at least I think it is. There may be more chamber... I hope there's not, but there may be, or there may be a turret. Um, let's go back up there then. That, look, look at that, goes perfectly over there. So if I now get back up onto the top here, and we need to get round this bit of metalwork. So what if I press you, put the portal on there. Is this enough height? Let's quick save here. Is this enough height to get me above here because then we could like land on there and just stroll gracefully over to the exit 
I mean, we're not going to find out until I actually fucking try it, are we? So, uh, you on there again, which is easy to do without that fizzler. So then into here with a jump. And where is it? It's the opposite side to the side I always think it's going to be. Let's get that height jump again. Uh, that one. And up into here, back onto this. We're going to replace the orange on this back wall. So let's just put you there. It's going to be the side facing the light bridge, right? So surely this. Uh, orange there. Yeah, but that, but better. Is there enough chance to do it again? No, because the fucking fizzler's in the way. Uh, let's go back up there then. Yeah, that, but better. That, but better. I'm going to get that tattooed across my ass. Not the ass. Why did I say the ass? I didn't put that on the name. I've already got tattoos on my ass. Uh, let's do you and... Doesn't matter for the moment. Let's do you. Let's have you a bit neater. Because that might help. So it was the opposite... No, it was the same way as the... there. We just didn't do it quick enough. Into there then. Ah, oh, crap. It's never the way I think it is. This is what's now going to take 20 minutes of the video, isn't it? Just me trying to work out which direction to do this. There. What if I now do it backwards just to be edgy? It's there. It's there. It's perfect. But again, that. But better. Why did that not take? That really felt like it should have worked. Was I just a split second off with the uh, Fizzler coming back into play? So the cool backwards flip actually helped. Didn't think about that, didn't press the bloody button. Got distracted by trying to say the Fizzler was a cool backwards trick. It really, really wasn't. Yeah, we need to actually press this button, you idiot. Uh, there. Press. Leap. Then, shit, there. Fucking hell, that shouldn't be so hard. It shouldn't be so hard unless it's completely the wrong thing to try and do. It does get me high enough to land back on the bridge though, right? And if I do land back on the bridge, we can just walk to the exit. And that's got to be it. There, there, there. Oh. Why do I suck at that? Is there another easier thing? No, there isn't. It's this. It's got to be this. I feel like it's this and I really hope there isn't more chamber out there. Damn it! Just gotta get that timing. They're really tight timers in this map. Really unforgiving timing. And, you know, I suck at timing. Oh, come on! That should have been there. Hit you. Middle. Fuck, that cost me a second. Yeah, that one. Quick save there, which means we can walk to the exit and we can stick the two cubes on their respective buttons. You appear to have favoured this one, so you can sit there. You appear to have favoured this one, so you can sit there. And is this actually my exit? That looks like a busted exit. Is there a turret? It doesn't appear to be a surprise turret. We drop into here. That's normal. Still no turret. Uh, that is actually the exit, isn't it? Okay, cool. I did like that one. That's clever little like flipping loop around type things. And we don't get to play with conversion gel all that much. That was Aileron, made and recommended by Jet Rocket Box. So a very big thank you to Jet Rocket Box for that one. If you'd like to recommend a map for me to try and play, then please go ahead and do so via the usual means. And until the next episode of Perpetual Testing, I am duty bound to inform you that the Queen is dead. Long live the King. Sorry, but as a British citizen, I am legally required to say that at least once or they lock you in the tower. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.